working on a thumbnail. We're working it, we're voguing. <laughs> that sound, those squeaks. What is my life? Everybody to the right of me pumping gas, like what the fuck is this guy doing? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, welcome to lunch on the res. Gravy on the side, when it comes in containers like that and has, you know, these type of fixings, you know she gonna be good. We got a club sandwich in there, but a Mountain Dew and a maple walnut ice cream. Now, you guys know I don't usually have desserts, but this was on the house, free, and we'll talk about it. But let's get into the real thing, Cam. I hit y'all the real thing, Cam, looking a little too real today. Look at how banging that turkey club is. Crinkle cut fries, classic. We got the gravy, all from a gas station with a diner, mind you, of course. And of course, diner style, 1960s style, 50s maybe, and they're gonna give you the vinegar and the iodized salt. So let's get into this. I am very excited. This looks amazing. All right, first things first, a maple walnut cone. We're going dessert first because it is hot out, it's dripping. And uh, as you can see, we've got the catcher here, but this is a freebie. Now, there's a few reasons why I come out to the res. A, some memories, we could talk about those. B, the food is incredible. Okay, the diner smacks. You want like a classic dirty breakfast? You got it. Today is Friday, fish Friday. They had a fried pickerel breakfast. And instead of like bacon and sausage and all that, we get fr fried pickerel. And with your gas, if you spend over $40, which ain't that hard to do these days. You got free ice cream. Not just you, either. Anyone in your vehicle. So you got five people, you got kids, you get gas over 40, whole, whole crew gets ice cream. And they got rainbow. They got cheesecake. They got vanilla. They got tiger paw. They got it all. I went with maple walnut. Not normally a dessert guy, but when it's free, do you say no? I don't think so. That's a better offer than most gas stations I've ever heard of, you know? And I will say, Maple Walnut is not generally high in my flavor choice. Don't know why I went with it. Glad I did. This is delicious. And it's not like they give you a baby scoop either, dude, like, Truly packed it on there. <laughs> Sick. Look at that. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for shit like this. These little dino guys having his cone. <laughs> oh, why? Wow. That gets me going. <clears throat> Not quite a waffle cone. Still good though. That's how waffle cones reign supreme. <laughs> cone back. Vanilla swirlosaurus. You know? Okay, well, that's so cold enough that I might be able to eat it in a bit. Let's get into this sandwich though. Looks amazing. Actually, just before that, the crinkle cuts, we are gonna kick it classic, and we're gonna vinegar them like how you would back in the day. This is a grandparents move right here. I don't know anybody who still vinegars their fries, really. Also going to cats up the fries, ketchup, if you will. Some people say cats up, my mom does. She doesn't know how to pronounce ketchup. She says cats up for whatever reason. <laughs> And then the gravy, I'm tempted. 
Well, you know what? She did hook me a four. I was gonna go per dip basis, but you know what? Let's just do a fork and gravy fry and just load her up. How good you do, how good is this gravy gonna be? Watch this. Goes dummy. Goes demi. Demi glaze. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Bang in turkey club. Take the pick out. Get this bite. Unbelievable. Perfectly executed. Real turkey. Diner food. Ten out of ten. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Honestly, you guys, to me, I got bacon. Perfect. This is heavenly for me. The real reason you come to the res, though, gas is 40 cents a liter cheaper. Than in town. And town is literally right there. It's not like it's a big drive. Five minute drive to save 40 cents a liter on gas. You best believe I'm doing it. And free ice cream and a lunch of this caliber. It's nothing but positives. All right, switching it up. Full of sugar Mountain Dew today. He needs the caffeine. Nice and cold. Ah, palate cleanser. And let's get into these fry guys. All right? Classic. Crinkle cuts. I will say, not my favorite, favorite version of fry. But when done right at the diner, they work. Something about them works. Also very high school cafeteria poutine. They're all fried. Also, that additional vinegar. Actually making it right now. Cutting through the fat of that gravy real nice. Real, real nice. All right, need to re-up on the gravy. I'll say a few things. A couple res memories, a couple res, fond res stories. And just before that, the family that owns this place, gotta be making Buku box. Busy from open to close all day, every day. It's a trucking route, the mills right there. So just so much traffic and heavy, big trucks, as you can see in the background passing right now, logging truck. Tons of activity. Now, speaking of activities on the res, 
This is mainly where we used to take drives. To evade the police. And just down the road from here is like a, uh, a nature scenic outlook place. So you drive there, park by the water, and you uh, try to get far away from town, and you smoke up. <laughs> So we used to do a lot of smoking out here. Some real good turbo baked laugh till you cry till you want to die type type laughs. Those were the days. Miss those days. All right, about to try something out of pocket here gravy on a uh, turkey club club sandwich we've never done this before but one outside not bad but unnecessary so in our getting baked adventures one time my one buddy had like a Suzuki RAV4 or something. He was always ripping around in the mud. But he was the type of dude that was like jackass style back then. He used to film everything. He's always rolling with a camcorder. And one day, we're out this way, rolling down. kind of a road off the main road. And we stumbled upon this dude hammering a prostitute from the back over the hood of uh, his like Chevette, like a very funny hatchback car. <laughs> just, And we couldn't help but just burst out laughing as we went by filming it. And the dude caught that we were filming it and he like pulled out of the prostitute right quick like tried to do his buckle up and then proceeded to chase us down in his hatchback or in his chevette swerve in front of us cut us off and demand that we give him the tape or destroy the tape. So, he was pissed. So we fucked with him for a little bit. Until we just said, like, in front of him, we just erased it. We just erased the footage of him banging the prosty. But that was a definite memorable res moment. I will never forget that day <laughs> for as long as I live. And I don't know if I'll forget this sandwich for as long as I live. Because it was perfect. All right, what can I say? What an amazing meal. Yeah, just 10, it's a 10, 10 out of 10. Like even though crickle cut fries are basic, Something about then just the classicness of a crinkle cut. If they do them proper, they're good. With the vinegar and the gravy, ketchup, they were honestly amazing. And that sandwich is incredible, plus free ice cream. Like, can't go wrong. So, 
But if you have yourself a, uh, you know, a place like this, frequent it because it's enjoyable. Okay, till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.